Introduction It is recess time at school. You and your friends are out in the lawns. Suddenly a bright light hits you in the eye. You and your friends move to a different location. This time the bright light hits your friend. The bright light seems to be following you. You are confused. You look around. You see Aman standing at a distance with a mirror in his hand. You know that Aman was responsible for this mischief. However, how he managed it, you are not sure. In this lesson, we will discuss light, shadows and reflection in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define light Define luminous objects Differentiate among transparent, translucent and opaque objects Understand the formation of shadow List the characteristics of shadows Understand the working of a pinhole camera Define reflection of light it's night and you step inside the house. There is darkness all around. Everything appears black. You can hardly see anything. Your father switches the light on. Now you can see everything clearly. It means light enables viewing. Therefore, light is defined as a form of energy which makes things visible. You are getting late for school. You are not able to find your socks. You search for them in the cupboard. Since the cupboard is dark, you switch the tube lights on. Once you locate the socks, you switch the lights off because there is sufficient daylight. We just talked about two types of light. The light from the tube lights and daylight which is the light from the sun. While sunlight is natural, light from the tube lights are artificial. Objects which have light of their own are called luminous objects. Thus, in our example, both sun and tube lights are luminous objects. Sun is a natural luminous object and tube lights are artificial, man-made luminous objects. Luminous objects are sources of light. Objects are classified as transparent, translucent or opaque depending upon their treatment of light. Objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects. Most of the light falling upon a transparent object passes through it to the other side, thereby allowing us to see through them. Glass, clean air, pure water, etc. are examples of transparent objects. Objects that do not allow any light to pass through them are called opaque objects. As a result, we cannot see through them. When light falls on an opaque object, its shadow is formed on the other side of it. Wood, sheets of metal, dark colored plastics, rocks, etc. are examples of opaque objects. Objects that are partially transparent and partially opaque are called translucent objects. They allow light to pass through them in a scattered or diffused manner. Frosted glass, tracing paper, greased paper, etc. are examples of translucent objects. You and your brother Ashish have just returned from school. Your mother gives both of you lemonade to drink. Your mischievous brother picks this straw out from the glass and tries to look at you through it. After a while, the thin straw bends. Now when Ashish tries to look at you through it, he is unsuccessful. Does this activity of your brother prove something? Yes, it does. It proves that light travels along a straight line. On a Sunday morning, you are on your way to the market to buy some milk. The sun is shining bright on your face. You see your shadow on the ground behind you. The same day in the evening, you are out in the park playing football. The sun's rays fall on your back. You see your shadow on the ground in front of you. After a while, the sun sets. 
there are no more shadows. You are confused. You want to understand when shadows are formed. You are also curious to know the direction in which shadows are formed. Shadows are formed when an opaque object is placed across the path of light. Shadows can be seen only on a screen. The ground, walls of a room, building and other such surfaces act as screens for shadows. Shadows are always formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. In the morning, since you were facing the sun, the shadow was behind you. In the evening, the sun was behind you, causing the shadow to be formed in front of you. When the sun sets, there was no light, hence there were no shadows. You just learned some interesting facts about shadows. Let us list the important characteristics of shadows. Shadow is formed when light falls on an opaque object. Shadow is formed in the direction opposite to the source of light. Outline of the shadow matches the outline of the object. The brighter the light, the darker the shadow. Shadows are dark irrespective of the color of the light or the object. The closer the source of light to an object, the larger the shadow. The farther the source of light from an object, the smaller the shadow. Pinhole camera is a light-proof box with a small hole on one side. Light from an object passes through this hole and projects an inverted image of the object on the opposite side of the box. Let us learn how to make a pinhole camera. Take a cardboard or a tin box. Cut open a side of the box and paste a tracing paper over it. Pierce a very small hole in the center of the side opposite to the one on which the tracing paper has been pasted. Close the box from all the sides. The pinhole camera is ready to use. Make the pinhole face a lighted object. An image of the object is formed on the tracing paper. The size of the image depends on the following factors. The greater the distance between the screen and the hole, the larger the image. The larger the image, the fainter it is. The larger the distance between the object and the hole, the smaller the image. In your school during the recess, Aman shone a bright light on your face. He did it with the help of a mirror. How did he do it? He used the mirror to deflect the sunlight in your direction. This mischief of Aman proves that a mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it. Such a change of direction of light by a shiny surface is called reflection of light. Let us check what you have learned. Drag and drop the correct option into its respective box. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Light is a form of energy that makes things visible. Light travels in a straight line. Objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects. Objects that do not allow light to pass through them are called opaque objects. Objects that are partially transparent and allow light to pass through them in a diffused manner are called translucent objects. When an opaque object is placed across the path of light, then the object casts a shadow. Change of direction of light by a shiny surface is called reflection of light.